Hey guys, hope you're having a very, very nice day wherever you are in this world. So before I start this video, I just want to say that this video actually marks a one year anniversary since I started this YouTube channel dedicated for publishing and in turn that marks two years since I started on KDP. So I just want to take this time to say a massive, massive thank you to you guys who are viewing this channel, who are supporting it with likes, comments and subscribes. Honestly, I really can got to where I am today without you guys. So yeah, you guys have been amazing. Hopefully I can bring you more value in the future with videos like this on how to make more pub money with publishing. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you should be creating an author central account for your best selling pen name and how it's really going to help you blow up the sales of those books. So I hope you enjoy it guys. So guys, I'd really appreciate if you drop a like on this video, if you found it helpful, if you found it enjoyable, if you got any value from it at all. And of course, if you enjoy videos on self publishing, then be sure to hit the subscribe button for me and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I bring out videos like this one. But without further ado, guys, let's get into what Author Central is and how it can help bring you more sales. So I think the best way to explain what an Author Central account will do for you is by just looking at a very good example of an already established author page showing you the features that it has that allows you to get more sales that you know not having an author page won't uh, have so first of all we're going to touch on an author that doesn't have an author page so for this example i've just picked a coloring book at random and if we click on this author here so every book will have this it will have by an author that you can click on. Now this author doesn't have an author page or an author central account. Uh, if we click on that, you can just see there is a long list of books, kind of like it is as a search result. You know, there's nothing special about it. You can just scroll down and see all the books that they have. But if we now look at an example of an author that does have an author page, you'll see straight away a massive massive difference so for this example I'm gonna give this guy a quick plug that's Del L Roberts he's also a self publisher here on YouTube and you can see that it looks a lot more like a profile than it does you know just a search result of course you know there's a library of books here at the top as you'd see in a search result but the difference straight away is obviously there's his author name at the top and there's obviously a picture here and a bio down here so already it's a lot more personalized and that is just the start now one of the best features of this whole author page is probably this button here so this button here will allow you to follow your favorite authors now if i push that button you can see that i'm going to get new release updates and improve recommendations so let's just click that now i'm following del l roberts and when we come over here you can see that we're going to get an email shortly after saying this thanks for following del l roberts you will now receive new release alerts so let me stop there new release alerts what exactly is that well every time you publish a new book onto amazon through that pen name that you've created an author page for anyone that's following that author page will get an email from Amazon saying that you have released a new book. Um, needless to say guys that this is extremely extremely powerful so can you imagine I had a hundred people following my author page I released a new book onto Amazon that's a hundred people that could be potential customers right from the get-go when I release this new book. Of course, it doesn't just stop there because if you remember as well, Amazon do give your book a boost for the first 30 days while it tries to determine the suitability of your book uh, across different keywords. And obviously if customers are buying through certain keywords, it's gonna be very, very favorable for the sales of your book within that keyword in the short term and in the long term. So if 100 customers go and search your book straight away and they buy your book using certain keywords, then this is gonna tell Amazon that your book is very suitable for that keyword and it's gonna help you so much with your sales. So not only do you get the customers straight away, it's gonna help you with the long-term ranking 
of your book as well. So it's an extremely powerful tool. Um, as a summary, it's basically just Amazon's version of email marketing that they're doing for you absolutely free. So it's not going to cost you a single penny literally to set up this author page, but it's just going to help you bring sales. So that is one of the main features, but that is not the only main feature. So let's go back onto Dale L. Roberts' author page. You can see here that there's author updates as well. So if Del or Roberts uploads an update onto here. I'm going to get an email about it. You can see he's got videos here. He's got photos, like promotional photos for his new books. And he's also got blog posts embedded in here. So if you have your own website, this is also going to be very, very powerful because it's going to give you free organic traffic straight to your website. I press read more. It goes straight to his personal website and I know for a fact that Del L. Roberts has more than just books and blogs on his website he also has courses and things like that so he has a greater chance to sell you know higher ticket items than just books or you know affiliate products and stuff like that so that is absolutely amazing that's just going to be free traffic to your website that's going to be more sales in your pocket so that's absolutely insane so um, let's go back onto his author page just one more time. And if we scroll down here, um, you can see there's the typical search results field here. And oh, the last thing I want to the point as well is this bit here. Customers also bought items by these people. So it is also pretty important as well. Because if you imagine I had an author page about, say, um, books about football, something like that. And FIFA comes along. I don't know if FIFA published books, but if FIFA appears here, customers also bought items from FIFA, for example, then because FIFA are very uh, an authoritative brand within football and people are going to see that brand next to your author page. It's just going to help boost, you know, your authority within that niche. So these are kind of the major points that you see with an author page. I think the two most important things are these author updates and this following button here for sure. And the fact that you can personalize everything as well. So all in all, like that doesn't cost you a penny to make this account, but there's a whole range of benefits from it. So now we're going to head over to Author Central. We're just going to see how to create it and what you know the features are inside it. So to create it, very, very simple, guys. You just type in Author Central in your search bar. So you can do that here. I think you only have to make it in one marketplace. You see, I have the option for .co.uk or .com. I think nowadays, if you sign up for .com, then you get access to every marketplace. But when I signed up for it, I think I had to sign up for the UK and the .com before I had access to both. So um, just try signing up for the .com first and see if you get access to .co.uk or for pages. But yeah, very simply, just click on it. Um, I'm not going to do that because it's going to take me straight to my own one. Um, but yeah, you just got to sign up for it in the same way you'd sign up for KDP. Use the same email address and uh, all is good. So once you have access to it, I'm going to show you what the home page looks like. I'm not going to be showing you my brand or my books because I'm still in the process of building the brand. Um, so I don't want any copycats. Um, so basically your homepage is going to be looking like this. So one thing I do want to point out straight away is that any Author Central account can have up to three pen names. So if you publish under a few different author names and do not worry, you can add up to three on any Author Central account. So people, I also think it's important to note the circumstance under which you are publishing in. If you're starting out with no and low content books uh, and you've just watched this video now, then I'd advise against creating an author page for the first pen name that you've made. You can create an Author Central account, but just wait a little bit before you create the author page until the books under that pen name make some good sales and you have good reviews on those books as well. Especially if you're literally finding your niches through Amazon and searching for ones that have low competition and high demand because you don't know how those books are going to end up. The last thing you want is free author pages for pen names that don't sell at all. It's kind of a bit of a waste. So wait for a little bit until you get good sales that there's not really too much going on with the home page all the magic really happens with these other three tabs up here so we're gonna go ahead and click on profile and as you'd expect this is where you can go ahead and personalize your author page you can upload a, a profile picture here um, if you're a personal brand then maybe your face but for me as a business that's where the logo 
goes you can add your blog updates here so if you do have a website then be sure to add your blog there as well that's free traffic for you guys remember um, as you scroll down as well let me just move my face again you can see biographies here photos and videos here so like Dale had um, his photos and videos you know you can just add them there promotional material interviews anything like that obviously guys goes without saying be sure to check with Amazon what you can and can't do there's a long list of stuff you can't do as always with these things so check that and make sure you understand it before you upload and obviously with the biography you can put anything again with the personal brands just put a bit about yourself for me as a business I just put our business aims uh, and what we're trying to achieve with our brand so having said all that once you filled all that in your author page is going to start looking like your own personal page and it's going to look really cool so now what we need to do is add the books so the next tab along books and it's going to prompt you to add your books and you do have to do this manually so you can either type in your ISBN which is probably the easiest way you just type in your books titles if uh, it's not too common if it's common then it'll just show lots and lots of books so bear that in mind um, but yeah once you've added all your books they're going to show up here so now you've added your books you're going to get this reports and marketing page which says free sets of data it's going to have your sales rank here it's going to have your book scan and it's going to have customer reviews so your sales rank is as expect how you'd expect it would be uh, basically it just shows all your books and the ranks at any given time so you've got all the BSRs on one page as opposed to having to head over to Amazon each time and checking your book individually for the BSRs so that's pretty cool uh, if you click on this view historical sales rank here you get a really nice looking graph here where you can see it over a given time frame uh, the BSR for your book so as you can see in mine I had a few dips in BSR here that goes way into 400,000 or so but generally speaking my book sits below 100,000 BSR in the USA so that's pretty cool you can see it over you know multiple time frames there as well so good stuff with that um, the next one here now is very very funky it's called book scan so this is very very new uh, in author central and basically it shows you the weekly sales for your pen name so as you can see um, this is how many sales have been getting per week so it's on the up and up this massive spike here was for Christmas of course my books sell a lot better in Christmas than other times of the year and that's why we got that spike uh, so yeah you get some interesting data here and you can click on this sales by geography as well so if you click on sales by geography you get a map that looks like this and this is really cool because now you can see uh, which which places in the United States your books are selling so if you can personalize your book to the places where people are buying your books the most that could be something very useful and profitable for you so nice data there of course if we go to customer reviews again is expect as you'd expect it to be you basically see all the reviews in chronological order for all your books so if you've got a recent review for any one of your books in the pen name it's going to come up here so uh, that's probably one of my favorite features there because apart from this there was no other way you know to get notified on new customer reviews that were left on your books and stuff you'd have to manually search your books and then find the reviews that way but yeah this way is a lot easier and it's more like a news feed so that's pretty awesome so yeah that's pretty much an author central account in a nutshell um, and yeah that pretty much summarizes this video so again if it was helpful to you at all be sure to hit the like button for me but otherwise thank you so much for watching and always supporting the channel as you do guys i really do appreciate it and hope to bring you some more value in the future but for now have a really great day and i'll see you all in the next video take care